Hey, welcome back to another video. This is Tariel Sultan. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the minted Helium Miner by Rack Wireless. If it's worth buying it, how to set it up, and most importantly, how you can participate on their upcoming drops and things you need to know for mining Helium in general. Without further ado, let's roll the intro. If you're here for the first time, on this channel, we talk about all tech-related tutorials, gear reviews, and crypto content, and much more I'm planning down the road. If this is something interests you, consider subscribing to the channel and drop some likes and comments. So on the recent minted Helium miner drop, I was fortunate enough to reserve an order of two miners. One of them is Gold Spot Limited Edition Miner and followed by a Black Spot version of the same Hotspot Miner. And the drop and order date was placed on December 15th and I got my miners on exactly December 31st. The duration is 16 days, just a little over two weeks. This is apparently the fastest way to get a Helium miner at this current moment of time without placing an order regularly, wait for 16 to 20 weeks or get onto the second hands market. They currently support EU countries, US and Canada. Man, gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with their packaging. It's definitely doubled the quality on the Bobcat 300. If you haven't watched that particular video, the link is in the description. I believe this is the same package as the regular miners, just different colors with a logo. When you open the box, the first thing you're going to see is this instruction guide. It includes all the product specs and the steps that's needed to set up the miner on Helium Network. And the last page of this instruction guide is secure your account seed freeze. If you're first time setting up a Helium miner, you might want to download a Helium wallet app. And when you set up your account, it will provide you a 12 word seed phrase. And make sure you write these down on a piece of paper like this or store it really secure. Make sure you don't share and give it out to people because this is the only thing that required to log into your Helium wallet. And the package mainly comes in three parts. And the first one is the antenna on top. This is a 2.3 dbi antenna by the way if you want a better mining rewards consider upgrading to a 5.8 dbi antenna or up to 8 dbi antenna obviously it depends on your location either you're in an urban area or far away from the city or also drop some common requests below so i'll make an antenna upgrading video in the near future and the second item is the miner itself and followed by usb-c charger on the bottom left Now let's talk about these two miners. This gold one is called Limited Edition Minted Gold Spot Miner and the black one is a Standard Edition is called a Black Spot Miner. The main difference on the hardware is the gold one comes with 8 gigs of RAM and the standard version the black one comes with 4 gigs of RAM. And on top of that the gold one comes with VIP support and that's the difference between the gold spot and the black spot. And now comes along with the next question is 4 gigs of RAM good enough? or you want to upgrade to 8 gigs of RAM. In the past, I've had one Bobcat miner kept syncing and unsyncing back and forth and never really mined any reward. And based on my understanding, this is all due to the RAM size. And that could be one of the older version of the Bobcat. So the conclusion here is as long as your miner is above 4 gigs of RAM, you should be good to go. So any items you pick from Minted, you're guaranteed with 4 gigs of RAM minimum. Now let's talk about how you set up these minted miners. First and foremost, attach the antenna to this miner through this RPSMA mail connector. Then plug in with a USB-C power cable. First time connecting the miner to the power cable, you will see the red indicator light. That's all you need to do in terms of hardware and the rest of the steps are done on the Helium app. Now let's open your Helium app. If this is your first time setting up, simply go to App Store or Google Play 
depends on what device that you use. I have a detailed Helium wallet setup video on a Bobcat Miner 300. Make sure you watch that video first as a new Miner setup because I went through how to set up your Helium wallet correctly. Once you open your Helium app, go to the top right corner and click on the plus icon. Now you just need to choose the right Miner brand. You can scroll down and locate the rack hotspot or type in the search bar like how I did here. Select the rack hotspot. You're going to see four different tips to choose the right location for your miner. You may want to give them a read. Once you're done with that, swipe to the last card and click on I've read the guide and then click on I understand. Since in the previous step, we have already powered a unit through the USB-C, simply click on this green button says I'm powered up. And then the next step, make sure your phone Bluetooth is enabled and click on scan for my hotspot. Give it a few seconds as the Helium app is scanning your local network to find the rack hotspot through Bluetooth. Once you see the device showed up as a Helium hotspot, give it a click and patiently wait it out. The next phase is to set up the internet connection with this miner. If you want to go with the Wi-Fi, simply choose your home Wi-Fi SSID. If you want to use the Ethernet, you're going to see at the bottom it says use Ethernet instead and you want to go with that option. In my case, I'm using Wi-Fi for my internet connection. And the next step is to enter your Wi-Fi password. Once you're done with that, click on connect. Once it's connected, the last step is to set up the hotspot location and antenna. You want to tap on the blue button for allowing Helium app to find your location. You will see two different pins appear, the white one and the blue one. If the blue pin location is a little bit off, what you can do is to manually drag the white pin and to set up the location manually and accurately. By the way, the cost of setting the location is $10. Since it's a brand new miner, it's completely covered. But in the future, if you want to reassert location, you want to pay the $10 with the h and tokens. The next step is choosing the antenna. Because I'm using a custom 5.8 DBI antenna by Rack Wireless, so I picked the custom antenna option. In your case, if you want to go with a default stock antenna, which is 2.8 dBi antenna. In terms of the height in meters, this doesn't have to be super accurate, but make sure your antenna is accurate. Since this location is slightly above the ground, I put 5 meters here. In your case, depends on your situation. You could be living in a single home or you can be living in an apartment. So just Google an estimated height per floor and you want to enter your number accordingly. Once you're done, you will be able to come to the confirmation page to confirm your location and your antenna. Once you're happy with everything, click on the green register hotspot button. Sometimes you might see this type of error messages that pop up. And what you want to do is actually close on this arrow and you want to re-add the Helium Miner just like how we did the entire process again. In my case, I did this twice. First time I had an error message, I closed the error message and did it again and everything went through. And and now I'm on the last registering hotspot page. You're going to see it keeps spinning. Once you see this, you see a button says go to wallet. You just want to click on go to wallet and close this window. Everything is processing in the back end as we just submitted a new Helium miner to the Helium network and waiting for the blockchain to update itself. Once you have finished all these steps, you should be able to see a random name that's assigned to your Helium miner. And once you're done with that, there is one really important step you need to do, which is to do the port forwarding on your Wi-Fi router, as well as reserve a static IP for this Helium miner. Otherwise, once your miner is fully synced, you'll see the status will turn to relayed and that might affect your rewards earning. I have a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial that helped thousands of people doing port forwarding correctly on their router. And I'll leave that link in the corner of this video or in the description of this video and give that a watch. Hopefully that will give you a hand in terms of removing the relayed status. All right, here's my final thoughts and tips on 
minted helium miners. A few things I noticed when I set up these two miners. Number one, because of the four gigs and eight gigs of RAM, the syncing process is pretty short. Both miners had finished syncing process in within two days. I think helium is a still a long term project. We have a mine around 50% of all the HNT tokens. It's not going to get you rich or give you a whole bunch of reward within the first month or two like how we used to, which leads to my next point is the reward earning. I've set these two miners for about a month or so. So far, my HNT earning on average is about 0.1 to 0.2 HNT a day. Again, this is totally depending on your location of the miner, the elevation, and how many witnesses are you witnessing. And last but not least is going to be reward skill. If your reward skill is 0.03, obviously you're not going to earn much as someone who has 0.7. So, so far we are approaching around 600,000 miners around the globe. That's why some of these miners are super crowded and urban areas, some hexagon on the map can have up to 30 to 40 or 50 miners inside of one hexagon. That's why if you want to buy these miner, hoping you can get rich, probably it's not a good idea. But if you are really interested in passive income in the crypto area, a helium network is still one of my top recommendations. And last but not least, I do want to mention is if you want to have a better reward, consider an antenna upgrade. One of my miners is on an 8 dBi antenna. The other one right now is on 5.8 dBi antenna. So I've upgraded both. They are having a better reward than stock antenna, which is 2.8 dBi antenna. So that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy delivering to you. And if you have any questions, comments or observation, drop them below. I'll do my very best to go through every one of your comments. And thank you for every one of you supporting my channel. This really means a lot to me. And this is really motivating me and encouraging me to make more valuable content for you guys. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop some comments and give it a like so YouTube algorithm can show this video to more and more people out there who seek help setting up their helium miners. This is Tariel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.